Hello and happy holidays, my friends. Hope all you are doing well and staying safe and healthy. My name is Ellen. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my Southern Kitchen, the 433rd episode and the 10th episode of Ellen's Christmas Series 2020. Today, I am making a staple and a must-have during the holiday season. Some good old gingerbread men cookies. And my friends, these are the bomb.com. They're going to be so delicious, simple and easy to make. And we're going to ice them with a buttercream frosting. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? And these cookies would be great to make with your kids. And if y'all are a fan of gingerbread, y'all going to love this. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my Christmas treats playlist and my holiday side dish recipes playlist for macaroni and cheese to cabbage and collard greens. And my previous video, Eggnog French Toast. I'll post a link to all of those down below in the description box. So grab your flour, your molasses, and your cookie cutter sugar because we're about to bake some gingerbread men cookies magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, the first step we're going to do is make up the dry ingredients. In my bowl, I have two and two-thirds of a cup of self-rising flour. And in two hours flour, we're going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon each of ground cloves, ground allspice, and ground cardamom. And give it a quick whisk until it's well incorporated or you can sift these now we're going to set the dry ingredients aside while we work on the wet ingredients in my large bowl I have a half a cup which is one stick of unsalted butter that let come to room temperature and four tablespoons which is a half a stick of margarine also at room temperature and we're going to add in three-fourths of a cup of packed light brown sugar or you can use dark brown sugar and we're going to cream these on medium speed until they're fluffy. Alright my friends, next we're going to add in one extra large egg at room temperature, two tablespoons of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and a third of a cup of molasses. And mix those together until they're well incorporated. Now we're going to slowly add in the dry ingredients into the butter mixture. Mix this in until it's well incorporated. Alright my friends, I'm through mixing up the cookie dough. Mmm, you can smell the molasses and the spices. It smells phenomenal. Alright, I'm going to cover my dough with some plastic wrap. I'll bring you back. Alrighty my friends, so now we're going to put our dough into the refrigerator. And we're going to let it chill for 30 minutes. Alright my friends, my cookie dough is nice and chill and I removed it from the plastic rack and I put it on the flour surface. We're going to knead it a few times. Add a little bit more flour. And using my rolling pin, we're going to roll it to about a fourth inch thick. Alright, 
Now we're ready to cut them into gingerbread man. I'm using my gingerbread man cookie cutter. I'm just gonna cut it and then pull it up gently. And voila, just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting the rest of my gingerbread man and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through cutting out my gingerbread man cookies. So now I put them on my nine by 13 inch long cookie sheet that lined with parchment paper or you can use aluminum foil or grease it with baking spray. And now we're ready to put them in the oven. We're gonna put them in the preheated 350 degree oven and we're gonna let them bake for about eight to 10 minutes. And I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I have taken my cookies out of the oven. Mmm, it smells incredible up in this kitchen. Ain't nothing like the smell of gingerbread. So now I'm gonna let them cool on the wire rack for a few minutes. All right, my friends, our gingerbread cookies are nice and cool. Now it's time for the fun part, icing them. Over here in my piping bag, I have some buttercream icing, or you can use royal icing or cream cheese icing. And I'll put the recipe to the buttercream frosting down below in the description box. So now we're gonna... And then we're gonna make some wavy lines like that. And if you want, you could add some food coloring to your icing. I'm just keeping it simple. And then we're gonna put a little dots in the middle. Just like that. Isn't that a beautiful gingerbread man? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish with the rest of my gingerbread man cookies and I'll bring you back. Alright, my friends, there you have it. Gingerbread man cookies. Y'all going to look delicious and beautiful. Put them on my Christmas platter. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Hmm, I think I'll grab this one. Hello, Ellen. Happy holidays. Hello, Mr. Gingerbread. Happy holidays to you, too. <laughs> Look at this gingerbread man. Mmm. Mmm. Soft and tender. I could taste the molasses and the spices and I love that buttercream icing these gingerbread mint cookies are spectacular my friends please give this recipe a try this deserves another bite yum oh Gingerbread man cookie licious. My friends, many thanks so much for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights on Instagram or send me an email, Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. i see you next time. Let's eat. Much love. Stay safe. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.